I'm back, just in time for the set to start. Oh, the can! We haven't seen the can in a minute from this mox. This is gonna be really interesting versus the classic Day Min Min. We really enjoy Actually, I'm super happy. I played some friendlies after last tournament with Day because I felt like I didn't understand this character. So it's gonna be really fun to be able to, um, I guess, commentate it now that I understand this character a little bit better. Nice, nice. Power shield, the second punch, as you have to to be able to close the gap. And he does. Unfortunately, that round kick gave him just a little bit enough of, uh, like, pushed him away that his next uh, input was not able to, to reach him. And they was able to get him with a forest smash to the right side of the stage, which is panning out into getting him off stage and almost getting killed. Ooh. He had all past the set, past the, the ledge. That was very unfortunate for him. But that's okay, because he is a character that can kill off an up tilt at 78%. And there we go. <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> 73% and he loses the stock for it. They fighting out of the corner a lot with those forward smashes. Like, he has both his arms, right? But he's just hit confirming the first one. And the first one is just hit every time up to date. Nice get up attack there. Get him out of pressure. Dab. Oh, not a roundhouse. I thought it was going to be a roundhouse, but instead it was the, the, the Tatsu, the side B. No jump. That is crazy to get a jump at this place in time. He still lives. He saved them with the, with the powered up, um, what do you call it? The, the circular blade. The powered up circular blade arm ended up saving him. Even though it was powered up, he just had right the eye for it. And uh, yeah, he lived. This is a stock like they would have taken this already by now. Doesn't matter. You don't want to dwell on it. Nice. So, oh no. I was going to say so sm so smart of Smock to know that he was no longer in hit stun by the time the up tilt hit. So the 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 Ubi, the Hadouken was not true anymore. And then they ended up just landing and catching an up smash after it. Yeah, that was a not, no input Ubi. But didn't end up killing. Back throw, he's powered up. You want to watch out. So whenever Min Min throws, you see how it's like the dragon is leaking fire. The arms are powered up. So very often after a throw, they're just going to toss out like hitboxes. Nice, nice. So he has to drop shield for those. I know, I know. So easy to be like, yeah, but whatever. He just, he just, you know, auto turn around and he did a B. Nah, he had to drop shield to be able to get the auto turn around, of course. And then he did an input. He didn't need the input course but like uh i love that he was he had the wherewithal of actually dropping shield because they could have let go shield and then hit him uh, of legend then uh double jump fair and it would have hit him from that range back throw powered up arms right now yeah you see him change arms and he up b's a b doesn't not get powered up but it was still enough to get the kill this is not an option that you get to see very very often but when you do see it it's very fun <laughs> so yeah min 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 day on min min takes uh Game one. Smog had a little bit of unfortunate uh, things that I'm very proud of Dave for being able to capitalize on, like that up tilt that he recognized wasn't going to be able to kill. That in no way, shape, or form was expected to be turned into a kill from Dave. But he did it. So uh, good stuff on Dave. We're thinking that stuck. I don't think that... Um, it was a bad option to play Ken, but Roy is definitely the character he's more comfortable with within this uh, um, matchup, at least from the, what I've seen. He's won more often with Roy than I've seen him lose, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> nice to double roll out together. Okay, huge right now, 60, 64%. He caught the ledge option, and he could have covered the same exact ledge option. He didn't expect Day to do it twice, and they did do it twice just to be able to nair from it this time. Like that, if Smock was like not trying to cover it, but uh, but like trying to react and cover it, he would have gotten hit by the nair. But from Smock, didn't do that. We're back fighting in neutral. Huge back air to cover the cross up there. I up the edge guard, but he gets the instant, uh, the instant jump from ledge with a huge back air there. Gets a kill at around 100. Uh, 
And Day is holding in right now. He's tossing his arms out, but like, yeah, he was finding his way to center stage. At center stage, he's no longer uh, running in too much because he likes being able to dash back if he needs to, to be able to like, you know, dash back aerial, dash back forward smash, just to whiff punish something. Because that's not need to be close to him, obviously, to be able to like whiff punish a fair, which usually is really hard to whiff punish on uh, this character. Misses the two frame, unfortunately for him. All good. Gets the kill right after. Off again, a jump from ledge. Socks relentless right now, man. Like off the platform. Oh, they didn't have enough time for back air. He, I think he just he hesitated on the on the the jab. Like he didn't. He took too long to recognize the hit confirm. So he just went for a fair instead. You know, back here wouldn't have killed anyways. It's fine. Don't want to steal it. And now a Jared will kill at the ledge for sure. Goes for a two frame. Does not pan out for him. His arms are powered up, by the way. This is scary. Like, I know he was just at 0%, but with powered up arms and all of that, he's uh, dead. <laughs> I was going to say, he's very scary. He can, uh, he can potentially get a kill there. He's at 81%. But um, Smock closes it out, get rid of the arms. The only way to get rid of the arms are with time or killing him. So it's really uh, of the powered up one. So it's very fun uh, to see Smock being able to kill him for right there. And oh my god, 94% off the angel platform with a drop zone fear. Damn. Damn. Damn, that was so nice. That was nasty. That was nasty. Wow. That fair, I'm really happy you went for it. No, never mind. I take it back. I'm really happy for, that he went for uh, for the whole the sequence before it, and he was aware of where he put Day off of it. Day was sent like at the same area as the at the stage, like maybe a little bit higher than the stage, uh, but near the blast zone. This meant that he had to expand his jump very early if he wanted to make it onto stage, which meant he probably needs to use a max range up B to try to make it safe. So. With a fast fall fair, he'll catch like a, an early a B and a max range a B the same because he's fast falling. And you know what's funny? If he missed, he died. He needed to uh, to land that to be able to get back onto stage, which he did. He still had an extra sock, so it wouldn't have been bad for him. We're starting right now into game three, I think. 1-1 one, one on the board. Big down smash. Get some offstage, powered up arms. He air through both of them. Crazy, that, that is crazy. Sure hop air dodge. That's kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. Nice, huge up air. Good DI from Day. Day DIing completely out and not towards the platform because that was the only way he could lose a stock. Boom. Huge powered up forward, I guess forward smash with the dragon. Forward smash two or 1.5, let's say, because forward smash two could be if he presses B and he sends a second arm. <laughs> yeah, back here. Big Jared has closed the stock. Not anything that is new to us. Interesting. So very often we'll see some Roy's opt for the side B that sends you up um, to be able to get a juggle. But because he was at 0%, I guess, he went for the guaranteed 26% instead uh, by doing side B down. Maybe the next one is going to send him up to be able to get a juggle. Because juggles are really good against Min Min. Wow. That wasn't even a two frame. That was before he even got to ledge. Huge from there. He caught the up B. This is something Min Min's do a lot to expand invincibility. They'll just go to the ledge and then they'll up B to get that extremely high distance, uh, like get really high very quickly. And it's hard to punish. And look at how much Smok has gotten. He's got an 80% of just calling that out. Ow. He almost got a stock too with that drop on fair. I mean, he gets a stock after from the next interaction that comes after this uh, advantage that he had. And now we're back to dead even. I'm loving these dashbacks from Day, like dash back, dash back into dash back even further. Like I know it sounds really funny to say, but Day and like Mas like Mas is the master of doing it. But like Day is doing it a lot and it's panning out for him very well. Nice. Does not let him get back to stage for free. Sour spot back here. If he, if he got the strong spot, that would have been a tech chase. Then he could have set up into the side B for the kill. <gasps> 
They so smart with that up smash. No one expected that. That was crazy. <laughs> Fuck, man. Are you kidding? I thought that was a forward smash, like, to try to cover the ledge. And so did Smog. He got hit by the up smash, and he did not waste any time double jumping and doing the the, the strong arm <laughs> behind him because it lingers. It's a lingering hitbox. So it, the only way to really, really dodge that is just to go far because he doesn't reach that far or to air out through it. But Smok was just fast falling, trying to react to stuff, trying to potentially toss out a hitbox to be able to like get day off of him because he didn't press the L button. He just got hit by it. Buster Wolf. That's what it's called. No, Buster Wolf is a Terry move. Megawatt, that's the name. I'm gonna go look at bracket. So we get to see. What happened earlier on in the tournament? I don't know if you guys have been watching for the beginning. But uh, there were already some very exciting sets. Most notable for me has been Pasha versus Smok. We had some fun ones too. We had, uh, what was it? Dario versus Dario. That was fun. I think that was on set, on stream. Now let's go find out where we're at in the bracket. Bye, Dario. See you soon. Two one right now for day. Smock sticking to the Roy. I think that's a good plan. If we go in loser's quarter, still crazy to believe that the loser of this gets fifth. Like both of these players are such good players. But I guess when I look when I look at all the people that are here, I can think of seven people that deserve top three. So like <laughs> we just had some really good showing, I guess. Um that's not too crazy when you think about it like that. 95% barely makes it back to stage. You saw Smock trying to cover the 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 Abu with a fair there, but it was good to see Day like just barely, barely wait before using his double jump. And a huge dare gets the kill. I mean, if you're watching Roy, you're gonna be seeing that a lot as a commentator. Oh, I love up air back air. He didn't get a tech chase, but still got a lot off of it. Unfortunate for him, he got the sour spot on the up air, so he couldn't get like a fair or a double jump back air. But uh, he keeps stage control. So even though you hit the sour the sour spot on a move, you keep stage control, you're fine. Nice, nice, nice. It's decided to be stilling it out a little bit, so it won't kill anymore at like 70, but it will kill at 80. Wow. <laughs> so uh, the move is still very good. 100%. What are we going to see here for the edge guard? Nice. Huge from him. Glad to see he didn't use a side B there. That's a lot of Roy's would do that. It wouldn't have covered it because Day has been jumping from ledge almost every time. Being very aware that like regular getup is what's going to get you killed against Roy more often than not. Unless Roy is facing away from you. Then you know back here it's probably gonna, what's going to be killing you if you jump from ledge. Again, another Cyrus spot up here. But this time it pans out for him. If he got the strong hitbox, he couldn't really punish off of it. He couldn't really do anything. It would have just, and I don't think it would have killed. So he got a forward tilt off of him, just falling right back to the ground without expecting it. Good stuff right now from Smock. With two stock leads. Whoa, 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 I know I just commentated him killing, killing day twice, but like it just hit me how how advantageous uh, this game is for Smock. They playing like for his life. I was, I was about to say, Day's gonna be playing for his life now, and he is, because it is his last life of this game. He still has one more game to work with, even if he loses this one, which is looking very likely for that to happen. Unfortunately for him, he's at 80% already. What are we gonna see for the last stock? Yeah, I was gonna say a side B. Big Nair, it's a kill. Now what's gonna happen for the other two? 
Yeah, he's definitely like hoping for like a back throw forward smash. Trying to catch a jump. But you know Smock, Smock does not press that bad that jump button forever. A little bit surprised I didn't see a grab on the dash tech. That's a game. Damn. That was quick. That was what? That was two minutes? Hey, it might have been three. Might have been three minutes. But still quick. 2-2. Two, two. Game point. And now I'm looking at, I'm just gonna look at the bracket real quick, see where we're at. Damn, like Himas versus Polar. I remember that was crazy. Like Himas barely beat Polar. He only beat him because he got a nine. Like Himas Aiza was crazy. Aiza almost reversed 3 0 ing like Himas. Gao versus Zerk was crazy. Gao versus Smok was insane too. Smok Dario was so fun. Dude, this tournament was so crazy. You guys should definitely look back on the VODs if you missed a couple of these sets because just looking through top 24, like all of these were, were just crazy, crazy, crazy. Where did Raggy end up? I saw Raggy was here. Raggy beat Red Drag and then Kookaburra, then lost the day. It's kind of unfortunate for Raggy to, to, to have to play day. I guess it wasn't that early. Uh, Raggy can be like most people here. This is uh, interesting. Game five. Min Min versus Roy. On town! What? What? All right. Uh, all right. Interesting. I guess town because Day was not edge guarding Smok a lot, but he was hitting him. Maybe he's going to try to kill him with some back throws and stuff. But like, yo, yo, it's Roy. You might just get side beat at like 50 and die. Yeah, you're, you're death percent right now, Roy. Is it hard to get back on the stage? I hope it's not, because if it is, you're going to die. You're, oh my, he barely lives that forward tilt. Oh no, man. Oh no, he would have died on most stages, to be fair, off all of that. But like, he, he, he kissed death twice before dying. And he didn't even die at that high percent. He died at like 170, uh, 120, 110. Nice. Oh, I love that so much. Mimin has a really rough time coming back. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys remember what Mimin's down air is? Most people don't because we barely see it. But yeah, it is one of those dive bomb uh, down airs. So, like, she doesn't really have anything to cover under her uh, falling down. So, uh, good stuff from Smok, who was uh, just not letting her land. Nice. She does not even try to go over the two frame. Fuck that shit. Get him while he's coming up. As his up starts, get him there. Hell yeah. One forty three percent. Okay, for as much I'm gonna apologize for as much shit I was talking about this map counter pick. He's at one forty nine percent and he is not even dead. So like, yeah, it's good for Roy. But like, he's doing something to not make it work for Roy. That's good. Really good for him. And uh, he is still at a stock deficit. This is where the map should come in his favor. Is uh, if he gets a grab near the edge, he might be able to like forward throw slash back throw into strong arms and kill him at this percent. He is at that percent uh, right now from it. Nice. Down tilt up smash. Quick two piece. I think that's why we're seeing him chill by the ledge so, so, so much. Because at 36%, it's going to be hard for Roy to kill. I don't think a side B would kill him at 36%. But now he's probably going to be chilling a little bit closer to the middle of the stage. Like, I know that you're trying to make a comeback happen, but you got to take care of your own stock as well. This is where it goes, though. This is where you make it happen. And he was not able to. He still retreats to middle stage because he does not want to somehow lose stage control to like a roll and then have to die from it. Side B, luckily for him, in the middle of the stage, does not die for it. Nice. Like, I want to... That looked weird, eh? Like, that, that that forward smash, why'd you send it out? It's not going to hit that far. But if he dashed in, he would have died. And he covers the recovery. 
This is where you make a comeback. As day, you got everything to win. Last game, he barely falls out of that. Jer, take it at 145. Day falls. Man, that was a good set. Whoa.